hello guys so in this video i am going to show you that how can you add an image picker in your uh, react native application okay so for that first you need to go to your favorite browser and search for react native image picker it's just a little um, image picker library uh, npm library by i don't know by um they haven't mentioned like who is the maintainer right now in here but yeah it's like the, the most popular uh, image picker library in uh, react native okay so yeah so you can just go here and just install it like that just open your terminal in there and just paste this thing and then just install it yeah so it did install successfully and after installing make sure you rebuild your application otherwise it may fail to reload all those changes whatever you have installed okay so for that just go there and uh, just run this npm react native run android yeah this one so that it compiles that particular uh, library okay so yeah this thing so keep this running okay so yeah just go there and it will take some time to just compile it up you can see here it's just compiling those image picker okay so friends we are done with um, our rebuilding okay and after that uh, yeah after that uh, if you are done with that rebuilding and installing of all the stuffs then we need to add some files in um, in android manifest okay so here we need to add two lines of code like uses permission android uh, name and these two things i will i will give them in description so you can have it you just need to put these two lines up uh, after this particular line like permission internet so what this will do with this is this will just give your app permission to access camera and write into external memory okay so yeah this thing just gives you your android app permissions okay so you need to add these two lines and then again rebuild whole application and now you're good to go so after doing that so first thing first thing first we need to import that image picker library okay so that is simple like this what happened uh, um okay while trying to resolve it happened to give us some error okay one two So we need to reload this app. So now you can see our app is running. So maybe you can also encounter this problem. So we just need to uh, restart this particular metro bundler. Okay. So yeah. So now our image picker is ready. So what we are going to do, we are just going to uh, import a button input a button from there like button just like that and I would like to give some little bit of styling in there so that it looks decent so just put a flex of one justify content center align items 
center so this this will do what this will just put all of your things um, all of the components in your application uh, this is centralize centralize all application whole component in your application okay whatever component we have uh, you have placed in there so yeah so this thing is like text hello world we are just going to replace it with a button and this is something like that and then that we can have like title like pick image okay something like that so this is like a simple button in there you can have it okay and here this button also gives us on press and here we need a function for opening the image picker so open picker just give it name anything so just for opening it just go on top and just write here and make a function or uh, so define a function called open picker open picker oops open picker and it should be something like this so so this will just uh, open our image picker okay so next we are going to head into our documentation and just see how they are telling us to use it so first thing which we are going to use is this option so let me just copy that and i will explain you that what it does okay so just go there and just paste it in there so here we are just saying like select avatar this is the thing which we are just going to display on your dialog like whatever you can say like pick, pick an image whatever you can use it is like custom buttons you can use it or not like you can make your own custom buttons so in our case we are not going to use it to make things simple to make things simpler okay and this is our storage option and this just says like with what path you are going to uh, open that image picker it's like saying that images okay so yeah so this thing is clear like we are just passing your options not a big deal here okay so yeah these things are like options so next see so here we are just having this image picker like option response and this like this pretty stuff like that okay so this like um what happened yeah so this thing is uh, simple um, just so we can just use something like uh, here we can just call that image picker dot uh, so image picker and in that it uh, expects uh, some options like in this case this one's this guys whatever I defined here and then it have expects a callback and in that callback it expects response and then and this response gives us a lot of things to us uh, like did cancel and a lot of things like here okay like I will explain you one by one you can just see like on console.log you can just log it on like what it contains but it contains a huge gigantic object so I will not prefer as uh, dumping it down so first we I'm just going to copy this one like here and I will explain you what it does this things like I will explain you one by one like what it does so just paste it in there and uh, just remove this one because we are not using class based thing so yeah so just remove this and uh, this one you can see right here okay so yeah this is like our image picker dot so image picker and options and response whatever it is and like if if you have, if you have cancelled that like let's say you have opened that image picker and you just cancel that that then this particular block will execute it and if it is there is some error then this particular block will execute if you are pressing the some custom buttons then this uh, this part will execute so in our case we are not having this custom button so we are going to get rid of it so we are going to get rid of this okay so yeah next uh, at last we are having the source and uri and here we are getting this response dot uri and this source will be used for loading that particular image into any kind of image so we are not going to, not going to do that and then we'll show that how to use it okay so yeah so just uh, if i now going to click this one what happened 
yeah so now if I'm just going to pick this one it is giving me some error uh, I don't know what is happening here I need to maybe I need to reload uh, run this again maybe so yeah after app is running right now and I just rebuild this whole application sometimes it just freezes it down I don't know why but yeah whenever it just freezes up you just try to rebuild that particular application or maybe reinstall that one then it's, it would also help okay so so yeah after that we are done with this one and just try to pick an image so just pick an image choose from library here we have this two cute dogs so this one yeah so we have just picked it and if you just go to the console it is going to what happened just not printing that okay i need to print that i'm not printing it that's why console.log source okay so just uh, just wait for just wait a bit and you can see here it will just dump it out here whatever we have in there okay so just pick it up and just pick it on you can just see here it's just like ui content and all those things like slash original and, and then you can just use it down for first first uh, showing it in any kind of image view or something like that okay so hope you got this and if you like this video do it a like and subscribe to my channel and see you till then thanks for watching this video